what's going on guys welcome back to another video here on the channel today we're going to be feeding my very curious friend here this is sniper the pit viper aka the water moccasin or the cotton mouth because this thing has a couple nicknames so this is the echistrodon piscivorus and this is a venomous pit viper found primarily in the southeastern u.s and it's known for its distinctive appearance and behaviors so water moccasins are large snakes often reaching up to four to five feet in length and some individuals can grow even larger. They have a robust body and a thick triangular shaped head, and the coloration can vary, but typically are dark olive brown to black bodies with some individuals having a faint crossband pattern. So the name Cottonmouth comes from the snake distinctive white mouth lining which they display when threatened or agitated, and this serves as a warning display and a defense mechanism for the snake. So this guy is probably not gonna show you because he's not one of them snakes to kind of do it like unless i get him super duper agitated he's not really gonna do the mouth gaping thing at all so um water moccasins are semi-aquatic and often found in or near water such as such as swamps marshes or slow moving streams and lakes they are excellent and strong swimmers and are capable of moving through water with ease as their scientific name suggests water moccasins are piscivores meaning they primarily feed on fish however they are opportunistic predators and will eat amphibians, small mammals, and birds. They're generally less aggressive than the reputation suggests, but they can become a defensive when provoked, and they rely on their kilt-thick coloration to blend to their surroundings and avoid detection, and especially when threatened, they flatten their bodies out to open their mouth to reveal the white lining and hiss very loudly. Uh, their venom contains emissive enzymes and proteins that cause tissue damage and potentially disrupt blood clotting. While bites are rare, they can be painful and potentially serious. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Back up. And you definitely need medical treatment as fast as possible. So they're not really considered in danger, but the population status varies in different parts of their range due to habitat loss, but they're generally not facing any significant threats. But they are part of a natural ecosystem and play a huge role in controlling certain prey populations. So if you encounter one in the wild, it's best to observe them at a safe distance and avoid provoking the snake. And leave all the snake wrangling and snake handling to the professionals like your boy, Josue. So, uh, I know I say so a lot. Let's go ahead and get our rat friend here. I think he's gonna enjoy it. He's ready, I can tell you that much. This isn't gonna be a long video, y'all, so we just gotta make sure we can catch this, because when I put him in here, it's over with. That. I can guarantee you that, playboy. Oh, he missed. So I was trying to get him in there. Oh man, the camera battery's dying too. We might be able to swap him out real quick before anything happens. I don't know what to tell you, friend. Oh. You should have bit him that first time. 